Thank you. Paul Scully. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I do obviously want to let the Minister uh, wind up, so, uh, but it's perfect timing for you to come back for me to talk about Burma for just one minute, um, because I know it's dear to your heart. We, we are obviously still concerned about Rakhine State, about Karen, about Shan, uh, and, and all of the other ethnic states and the oppression that is going on there. Um, and we, uh, we welcome, you know, everybody I think welcomes the, uh, the, the, the ceasefires that have been going on, uh, called by the military since last year. But there are concerns still that those ceasefires allow the military to build up their, um, uh, their, their defences and, and actually militarise some of the areas in, in, in those uh, ethnic states. But in my role as trade envoy, I'm, o I'm only too aware that there's a holistic approach. So I was glad that the minister talked about targeted well, sanctions, because we do know that those ordinary people that are being oppressed, persecuted, uh, raped, mutilated and killed, the only way through some of this, apart from, um, apart from our action as an international community, is through growth and prosperity and giving them that through trade and through support and infrastructure building. And that's why we need to target the sanctions at the military, but let's make sure we do not leave the ordinary people of Burma behind through a fuller set of sanctions. Andrew Lua. Thank you. Yeah, yeah.